there. Welcome to my studio. My name is Jacqueline Newbold, and this is my second year with Artful Gathering Online Art Retreats. Last year I taught a workshop that was all about color, and I met so many wonderful artists and made new friends, and it was so much fun that I am back again for my second year. Uh, this year I decided I'm going to teach two workshops. So the first one is called watercolor toolbox and it's for people that are just starting out with watercolor and it, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming um, you know what supplies to get how to set up your palette and just what do all those different terms mean so we will do some little studies and I will uh, teach you how to paint with watercolor and if you want you could keep all your little exercises in a watercolor journal I love to keep different journals. Um, here, like here's an example of something we'll be doing. We'll be doing color mingling and glazing, different ways to glaze, uh, different techniques, and this is just, this sort of thing just turns into a great resource tool for you to use in all your watercolor endeavors. The second class that I'm going to be teaching is called Watercolor Fun. And I named it Watercolor Fun because I have so much fun when I paint. I love painting with watercolor. And basically, this class is going to be a paint along with me. I'm going to show you how to take a painting from start to finish. And we're going to do several paintings. They're going to get progressively harder um, each painting. So you'll learn new tools and we'll be talking about uh, different ways to do watercolor washes, glazes, edge control. I'm going to get into composition. Um, I'm even going to do a little uh, demo on how to fix a painting if you get into a problem area, so that's always useful to know. And I'm very anxious to get started and to have you join me this summer at Artful Gathering Online Art Retreat. But first, I thought you might enjoy meeting my studio companions. So this is Olive. She's my youngest. She's very impish and curious. She does things like if I've been painting and I get off up off of my chair, she'll jump in my chair and grab. She'll look look for something on my uh, where I've been painting. Usually it's my kneaded eraser, and she'll grab it, chew it up, and spit it out. She chews it like chewing gum. This is Misha. She's <coughs> older and wiser. Isn't that true, Olive? Yes. Um, she's wise. In fact, she does things like if Olive's getting into trouble, like sniffing through my purse or something, Misha will go over there and, and get mad at her. She'll go, don't do that. She's a very gentle soul. She's uh, 10 years old, and she loves to just hang out in the studio with me when I'm painting. And this is Moose. She's actually my daughter's dog, and she's on loan with us for a little while. But she's actually the troublemaker of the three. Uh, she has big ears, so if she hears a little sound, she's, she sends out this warning bark, and all the dogs go barking and charging out the door, and she'll turn around and make sure that she's got this backup crew behind her, because she's so little. But she thinks she's big. She's a little dog that thinks she's very, very big. And I am hoping that you're going to join me for some watercolor fun this summer. I look forward to seeing my friends I've already made and making new friends.